students today i am going to explain you about process of recruitment recruitment and selection is one of the important functions of a human resource department or human resource management selection is a negative process whereas recruitment is a positive process recruitment is a process of gathering pool of candidates and encouraging them to apply for jobs whereas selection is choosing the right candidates which is fit for the organization and rejecting the unfits so selection is a negative process whereas recruitment is a positive process first step in the process of recruitment is job analysis now what is job analysis job analysis is finding relevant information regarding a job job analysis is divided into two parts first is job description that is describing about the job what does the candidate has to do when he is finally selected next part is job specification this is the specification you require in a candidate to do the job what is under job description you have job title title of the job where will be the job location a short summary of your job who will you be reporting if you are selected who is your boss who will be your subordinates what is your reporting system and what are the different rules and regulation working conditions then job duties what will be your responsibility what kind of machines you will be using equipment and everything and what are the safety requirements or hazards related to working in the company then you have job specification this will change from candidate to candidate depending on the job which is going to be selected first is the qualification next comes experience if he is an experienced candidate this point will not be considered if he is a fresher then what is the training you need to give if that person is lacking in certain skills okay next is training is you require that candidate requires a particular skill to do the job he will be given responsibility see in job description it was job summary here you have job responsibility you will be assigned with different responsibility along with some authority to function in your job then you require certain job require emotional stability or emotional characteristics for example people working in service industry may require more of emotional Uh, attitude or characteristic rather than per person working in a manufacturing concern then for certain jobs you require sensory demand for example if you are working in an army navy or whether you are working in a mine okay mine people require good sensory organ to detect where actually is the mine where you'll get the uh, minerals so next step this is about job analysis again i'll tell you job analysis is finding relevant information regarding the job it is divided into job description that is description of the job when the candidate is selected this is job specification what are the specific requirement you need in that candidate after doing job analysis second step is giving advertisement maybe in print media or internet or newspaper anywhere or on a social website or uh, sites like linkedin and nokri.com monster.com then next is uh, certain company gives this application blank and form just to check the handwriting or the way of expressing a particular candidates uh, way of writing okay and then next is the written test written test is taken when a candidate wants to be judged regarding aptitude uh, reasoning mathematical ability analytical ability okay then next is fifth is your interview now in interview in certain companies before interview certain company go for this gd gd is an activity in which you are placed in a particular situation there the recruiter sees you how you behave in a group how you interact in a group similarly lot of cues you get about the behavior of that person when you are put in a gd certain company directly go for the interview process now in an in an interview there may be a panel interview or face to face single interview then if you clear that interview 
certain companies have medical tests certain companies don't go for this medical test then your offer and your then offered an initial offer letter maybe uh, certain companies go for this 3 months apprenticeship program if they like your work if they like your performance then you get an acceptance or a rejection letter if it is a rejection letter then you'll have to search for another job if you are accepted then you go ahead you get an final offer letter or letter of appointment okay now after finally everything you are recruited you are done with everything then the next important step is the induction and orientation program where the new candidate or the new employee gets in touch with the first he gets the first hand experience or he tries to acclimatize with the new working environment a senior person of a department or the company takes that person around it may be a group induction program it may be a single induction program induction and orientation both the terms are used simultaneously it is also called as socialization process it is also called as onboarding process that's all thank you so much